Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, today I want to explain to you the money racket, which is our tri-state hospitals. I want to put up on the screen exactly what you need to know. This comes from the Cincinnati Business Courier, I think a week ago. And I want you to take a look at this chart. I want you to see how much money these so-called nonprofit hospitals are making. Cincinnati Children's Hospital nets $2 billion a year. Excuse me, that's what they gross. They net $200 million a year. $200 million a year. I gotta ask you this question. Why do you contribute anything charitable to Children's Hospital? They are a money monster. And you know what? Look at how many they employ. Go down there and look at all how much these hospitals employ, how many people they employ. Then what's not shown on this chart is how much they pay in advertising dollars to 5, 9, 12, 19 in the inquiry. They own this town. And they're all nonprofits making all this money, and they want you and me to feel sorry for them during COVID. We're supposed to feel sorry for all these people making all this money. It's a joke. I'm going to stay on the hospitals like green on grass. It is corporate health care run amok. I support doctors. I support nurses. I support frontline health care people. They do a wonderful job. Most of them are underpaid. You might have to ask yourself this question, why are they underpaid when the hospitals are making that much money? You know why? Because the hospitals pay all their administrators and assistant administrators. They create these kingdoms and the CEOs run the boards, the board doesn't run them, and there's these little kingdoms that they create, all the while acting like they're pillars of the community. It's a racket. Gangs, corporate gangsters. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.